Hello and welcome to this program where we share information on the Ghana National Bureau of Standards, our product, services and activities that we offer to promote business growth and protect consumers. I am Bibi Katoon, the Communications Officer at the GNBS and this is the first edition of our GNBS Highlights, a 15-minute program which allows us to educate you on what we do as the National Standards Body as we support business growth and protect consumers. Thank you for joining us. For those who are looking at this program for the first time, apart from being the National Standards Body, the GNBS is also the National Measurement Institute in Guyana. We are responsible for developing and promoting standards, while our measurement functions include the enforcement of the 1981 Weights and Measures Act to promote accuracy in trade. Let's start off with our measurement responsibility. Yes, you will recall I mentioned that the GNBS is responsible for the enforcement of the 1981 Weights and Measures Act. One of our duties in this regard is the verification of all measuring instruments used in trade. This is done twice annually. Inspectors of our legal metrology department verify instruments including scales, masses and measures used at the markets and shops, petrol pumps and bulk meters used at the gas stations and fuel terminals, electricity meters, speed guns, breathalyzers and storage tanks. To make the verification process more efficient and accessible to vendors and shopkeepers, the Bureau conducts mobile stamping exercises at markets and other strategic locations. On January 16, the first round of mobile stamping for 2024 commenced. Here's a look at the highlights from the exercise at the Stabrook Market. I ask vendors to bring the masses because the masses are important to the, to the scale, right? And what we do when you bring the masses, we would ensure that the masses are accurate. We have a scale that we do the verification of the masses also. So we will put each individual mass on the scale to ensure that the mass of itself the number or the denomination on the mass is what it really reads, and it's not more or less. After checking the masses, we also do the verification in the scale. This is done by simply checking the upper and the lower limits of the scale. So for instance, if there's a scale weighing between zero to two kg, we will check increments and division all up to two kg to ensure that it's reading accurately within its capacity. After the verification process is completed, we will affix this seal on the scale. And it's a new seal. It is yellow and blue in color. And what we will see, we will punch out the month and the year of which the verification was done, okay. right? So vendors can be guided by looking at the seal and they will know which month and which year the verification was coming. All right, thank you so much, Kimo. In 2023, the GNB has verified over 33,000 measuring instruments used in trade and our eyes are set on exceeding this target in 2024. To make this a reality and to ensure the protection of users and consumers from inaccurate measurements, owners of measuring instruments used in trade are encouraged to submit their instruments for verification. Remember, you can also submit these instruments to any of the GNBS offices across Guyana. We'll be right back. Thank you for staying tuned to this program. Now let's switch our attention to standards. Standards are documents with specification or guidelines that support the delivery of quality products and services. They are developed by the Guyana National Bureau of Standards and require periodic revision to ensure they remain relevant and applicable for the purposes intended. In this regard, the GNBS is currently revising the national standard specifications for pneumatic tires for highway commercial vehicles. This standard is a compulsory standard used to monitor the importation and sale of new and used tires in Guyana. 
This crucial standard was first developed in 2001 and is now being revised through a process which involves several public consultation sessions. These sessions help to garner inputs from all stakeholders before the final document is published. Public consultation sessions were held on January 23rd, 24th and 25th in Regions 4, 5, 6 and 3 respectively. The Corporate Communications team spoke with Ms. Selina Arjun, who is the Technical Secretary of the Committee, reviewing this document. And she explained why the national standard is being revised. The standard on the revision is the specification for pneumatic tires for highway commercial vehicles, which covers highway commercial vehicles like canters, buses, trucks, and minibuses. Um, the standard is being revised because we, the Product Compliance Department, has been getting complaints that the wrong tires are being imported for the so being sold and offered for use. That is the winter slash snow tires. So winter slash snow tires, they're not best suited for the climatic conditions in Guyana, which is the hot, warm climate. So because of the components used to make these tires, um, when, they touch, when heat touch them, actually they expand. And when they expand, they have degradation of the tire treads, and that can lead to the overall composition, the integrity of the tire declining. If you haven't a chance to make your inputs on this standard, a copy is available on the GNBS website for review. You can submit written comments via email to public.comments at gnbsgy.org on or before February 4th. For more information, please call the Standardization Department on 219-0064-66. Now using standards, the GNBS offers certification to various types of companies. This increases consumer confidence in the quality of products and services provided. The GNBS certifies medical and testing laboratories, bed and breakfast facilities, cold jewelry, PVC pipes, concrete hollow blocks, and bathtubs and shower units. Additionally, under the Made in Guyana Certification Mark program, locally manufactured products are certified authentically Guyanese made. In January, three new certifications were granted one under the Made in Ghana Certification Mark Program and two under the Laboratory Certification Program. Here's the highlights from those handing over ceremonies. I want to say thank you so much to the GMBS team for offering me this beautiful, awesome words kind of express how I feel this morning receiving this certification. Having the certification is going to take my business to the other level of which I've been dreaming of for the past few years. I'm excited to have the standards to at least let you know what the standards of my product is. We hope to serve the public. Um, in a capacity that, um, that is no, that is no other, uh, other to any other laboratory and to have better services uh, in Ghana uh, for better diagnostics and um, testing uh, requirements in Ghana. We've been doing clinical laboratory testing for the past 12 years and um, uh, today we want to ensure that all of our clients, all of our patients that are receiving the treatment and the care in our, in our facilities around the country, they are receiving quality care. And GNBS, this is not just a stamp, it is to show that we are interested and we are giving quality services to our nation. Throughout the history of GNBS, we have never had a laboratory of this nature being certified, a laboratory for a veterinary clinic. We know a lot of doctors look after humans, and a lot of persons don't see the importance of animals in the community. And I'm happy to be here this morning to present a certificate that represents or symbolizes the successful implementation of the GYS 17221 standard. And not only that, also that with the nature of animal care, um, the GMBS is extremely passionate about
protecting all, all, all matters of life, humans or animals. And being the first lab of this nature to become certified, we are even more delighted that you decided to take this venture. The GNBS conducts surveillance audits during the certification period to ensure continued conformance of those certified. More after this break. Consumers across Guyana are now shopping local with confidence. Yes, they are choosing GNBS approved Made in Guyana certified products. And if you haven't done so yet, you can too. Just look for the Made in Guyana logo with the colors of the Guyana flag on authentic Guyanese products that are approved by the Guyana National Bureau of Standards for meeting quality and other key manufacturing requirements. So the next time you buy, let GNBS approved Made in Guyana products be your preferred choice for Guyanese authenticity. These products range from beverages to sauces and spices, mattresses, fiberglass items, teas, coffee, coconut byproducts, and construction materials, among others. Support local content as local manufacturers strive for excellence. Shop Made in Guyana today. To view the list of GNBS-approved Made in Guyana certified products, visit the GNBS website under the Certification tab. For more information, contact the GNBS on 219-0064-66 or WhatsApp us on 692-4627. Thanks for staying with us. The GMBS offers trainings on various national and international standards. This can be done based on the request as well as signing up for the scheduled sessions. In January, the Business Development Department conducted 12 training sessions on understanding the requirements of the ISO 9001-2015 standard, the seven quality management principles, the GYS-170 laboratory standard, and the ISO-IEC-17020 conformity assessment standard. Participants were given the opportunity to benefit from an in-depth understanding of the standards and they were allowed to ask questions on how the various requirements are applicable to their areas of work. The professional training courses are open to individuals from organizations of all sizes and types. The GNBS backs itself with over 20 years of experience in delivering management systems training services. This wealth of experience has allowed us to craft the kinds of training that supports positive transformation of businesses and organizations within various sectors. Seize the opportunity to secure your spot by registering for our upcoming trainings today. Have a look at what's coming in February. ensure that the products and items you purchase are of quality. We do it so that you don't have to worry. The Product Compliance Department of the GNBS ensures consumer and retailer protection through inspection and monitoring of products. To date, we inspect over 50 different products ranging from footwear, mobile phones and gold articles to electrical fixtures and fittings. All just to ensure that a substandard product never reaches the consumer. To find out more, contact our Product Compliance Department, GNBS, creating a culture of quality. Before we close this month's television program, the GNBS also monitors 17 categories of products to protect consumers. All importers and local manufacturers of these products are reminded to register with the GNBS for the year 2024. Dealers of tires, cellular phones, furniture and electrical fittings and equipment are also required to obtain a permit from the GNBS to sell these items during 2024. Application forms are available on our website www.gnbsgy.org or at the GNBS head office and sub-offices in regions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. This brings us to the end of this month's edition of the program. Ensure you follow us on Facebook as we keep you updated on the various services offered by the Bureau, including training, verification, calibration and testing, standards and more. For more information, visit our website at gnbsgy.org or call us on 219-0064-66. You can also WhatsApp us on 692-4627. Goodbye for now.